Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Hello, Geminis. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, okay, as well as the Cross Watcher. I'm a Gemini rising, so I'm always curious as to Gemini readings, even though they don't usually resonate for me, but sometimes they do. Anyways, here we go. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Ooh, bitch, you got to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. <sighs> not your usual type, huh? Or not the usual way you do it. Or not the usual timing. Something is not the usual. But it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means it's just not what you're used to. Something is different. Could be the way you feel, could be the just the whole circumstance about it. And also there's a feeling of it's just not your usual type, not the kind of person you would normally date. This could be There's some kind of like um, unresolved. It's unfinished business for some of you. Mm. Yeah, I mean the block here. This unfinished business here could be that someone just doesn't want to deal. They don't want to address. They don't want to acknowledge right so they block this out there's no resolution there was no there was no closure someone feels like they need closure in order to feel victorious over something but you don't maybe someone here has been blocking their own abundance as well too with the seven of wands fighting it off self-sabotage King of Swords, that's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Very, very, very emotionally detached, but also very logical, like overly logical. Very black and white. You also have the Magician. I mean, someone here is a manifester. Someone manifested something. Pardon the noise of the jets. Someone manifested something. Feels like magic. Oh, the high priestess high priestess is secrets right it's keeper of secrets but it's a very intuitive person someone very tapped into the divine spirituality things of that sort oh there's the blessings see blocking the blessings here's the blessing ace of pentacles it could be moving or career change but it's abundance could also be a committed offer but it's not your usual Whatever this offer is, it's not your usual. It's not your typical job. It's not your typical person. Someone here has to make a decision. That's that king of swords. He's very decisive. He knows what he wants to do and, and, and such. He doesn't, it's not, it's, not, it's not that he doesn't know. But it's about not making a hasty decision just because it's not what you're used to could be it as well. There's a bit of stubbornness here. Very emperor-like energy. There could be a bit of stubbornness, especially if you're dealing with a fixed sign. Uh, if you are dealing with an Aquarius, I mean, that's one fixed sign. The star, Aquarius. Five of cups, sadness and regret, loss. It's also a wish, right? The, the star is a wish. It's manifestation. It's also the card of hope, healing, in the past, someone may not have gotten what they wanted, left them a bit discouraged. I'm hearing when you wish upon a star <laughs> and then you get the 10 of fucking cups fairy tale. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's scripted. You can't make it up as I always say. You can't make this shit up, bitch. The 10 of fucking cups is happily ever after feeling like you have it all fairy tale. While I'm hearing when you wish upon a star, anything.
Everything your heart desires can be yours. It's like someone fucking put a, it, it, it's like their wish is granted. <sighs> but it's not what they were expecting. It's not what they were expecting. That's what's holding them up. But it wasn't what I was expecting. But is it better? Queen of Pentacles. She's sitting on an offer, all right? See, the, the blessing comes, the offer comes, and then she started staring at it. Like, is this what it is? Is that what I want? Well, maybe the offer or the thing looks a little different than what you expected, and it, but it's probably going to blow your mind. It's going to be better than you fucking expected. I'm sure of it. Because the universe is not going to bless us with beautiful, magical, wonderful things that we don't like. And if you don't like it, then it ain't it. It's not about, oh, I don't like it. I'm not attracted to them. I hate that job. I got to force it. No. No. Then you just keep chugging along until the right offers come along and you'll know because it'll feel right. It won't feel like you have to force it. If you ever have to force some shit, it ain't it. Just like if you got to try and force yourself not to feel this ten of fucking cups if it's there. But why would you not want to feel the Ten of Cups? Self-sabotage, right? Fear of having wonderful things and then losing it. Big happy changes. Like It's like the wheel turns. And then when the wheel turns, all of this new things come in. Right? It's a new cycle. A new day. No, with an exclamation mark. Something is a clear no. It's not a maybe. It's not a do you think so. It's a clear no exclamation mark. Look, there's something better. Fell on top of big happy changes. This is why it's a no. Because it's no, it's not for you. There is something better. Changes are coming. See, this is about not forcing shit. Not taking it just because it's right in front of you. It's about being patient and waiting for the right thing. Ask your angels. There's a bit of prayer here, meditation required. What else? Peaceful resolution. All right, let's see. So something works out. Something just sort of falls into place, you know? Peaceful resolution just happens. No fighting, no fussing. False person. Someone is afraid to communicate. See how she's covering her mouth? It's like someone's afraid to speak. Someone's afraid to communicate. They're not being truthful. See, message of concern. Someone's either afraid to communicate or they don't want to hear it. Remember I said earlier it felt like it was like unresolved and like unfinished business that someone was like they didn't want to they didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to confront it. That could be this. They don't want to confront the elephant in the room. Have a tough conversation to say, hey, it's over. Have a tough conversation to say, hey, I'm sorry. I forgive you or I, I want to be with you. Whatever the fuck this is. Someone is trying to avoid communication. Sorry about the jets. Every time in Hawaii around this time, they just sort of like do their thing, do their thing military jets while well, you got date meeting someone new dating to get back out there planning and setting a date then you have healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier it's beautiful energy you have the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so you got a lot of endings happening, right? It's collective. We're closing out old cycles, you know, crossing things off the list from our karmic list of things we need to do and learn and lessons and shit. And as you do, the wheel turns. Rose you into a whole new cycle. Something about the Grim Reaper energy here, though, it's like, I'm never going to go back down that road again. I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to be that person again. I'm never going to be back with you again, whatever this is. And you don't have to be. You don't have to go and be back with someone who's toxic or go into a situation that you fucking hate. It's ridiculous. 
right? It's making healthy choices in love and life. It's self-care, self-love. So why would you put yourself in that position? It doesn't make any fucking sense. That's just ridiculous. Lightning, sudden change. See, we talked about that earlier. Sudden change, shocking. Surprise, an epiphany. <coughs> this also could be upheaval, transformation. <sighs> what is the upheaval or transformation, right? <sighs> Meeting suddenly. Feeling things you didn't think you would. <clears throat> it's shocking because it's not what you would normally want or think you would get or whatever this is, right? It's like a real strong sense of... Disbelief. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Not being open and receptive. Not being open and receptive. Not allowing change, not allowing balance. It's like at a standstill, it's at a halt. All right, we're going to get into your extended. If you want to rent it, click on that upside down triangle below. It's going to bring up the description page here on YouTube. That first link is going to take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. These readings are going to be in the zodiac intimate section on my website because we are going to use the intimate cards. If you love intimate readings and intimate cards, then that other link below is for my Patreon. And on Patreon, I do erotic tarot readings. Um, and I also do some bonus ones as well, okay? So thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. But also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. But beware, okay? They're scammers. They're pretending to be me. I would never reach out to you, solicit you, DM you, message you. The L you want a reading? Those are scammers, okay? You can message me only via email, saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com to request a session or a reading request. All of the info is below. Um, I am accepting Reiki sessions, a couple more, maybe just to fill up and then that's it. I'm a Reiki level three and I never offer it. Um, but yeah, all of the info is below. Remember now, saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com is the only way and I invoice you via PayPal, okay? So let's get into your extended Geminis and Gemini Cross Watchers. Love you.